Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel Lash with Lex. Today we're going to be doing a volume set tutorial. I'm very excited about this because this particular client has lashes that may not be favorable for volume but we're going to work right through this. I'm going to give you guys some great tips on how to work with thin lashes for a volume set. So let's get right into this video. So just like with any other lash set, I'm going to be placing a piece of tape on the outer corner and the inner corner of my client's lashes. I call this the tape up method. This is going to give my client's lashes a lift and also make them a lot more easier to isolate and place the extensions. Next, I am going to lash map my client's lashes. I'm going to start in the inner corners with a 14. I'm going to go up to a 15, 16, 17 and bring it back down to a 16 on the very outer corner. A volume set is achieved by placing a volume lash extension on each individual natural lash. If you are struggling on how to make volume fans, please refer to the video in my description. I will go over how to make volume fans using the different type of lashes. For this set, I am using 0.03 volume fans. I think these are a little bit more difficult to work with and it does require a certain type of tweezer which I will go over in my video that I will leave in the description. I like to pre-make my fans when I am doing a volume set and a mega volume set and sometimes even a hybrid set. This makes it go by a lot quicker. And because our client's lashes right here are a little thin, please stay tuned for some valuable tips as we navigate towards the inner corner, just in case you ever have clients with lashes like so. Okay, it is time for a tip. 
I'm going to be lashing the inner corners. As you can see, they are on the thinner side. So I'm just going to take a piece of tape. I'm going to pull this directly over until the inner corners are more exposed as so. As you can see here, her inner corners are a little bit on the thinner side. So we're going to use this method to expose them and also isolate them more. This is going to make it very easy for us to just lash and go.
Alrighty, it is time for another tip. This is my absolute favorite method when I am lashing. I'm going to take a piece of tape and I am just going to tape up the extensions. This is going to expose the bottom layer of our client's lashes as you can see. This is going to make it a lot easier to isolate if you need to and just lash and go. This also makes the process go by a lot faster. Okay dolls, I am going to speed this video up. Please feel free to drop a comment, question, or a video suggestion in the comment section below and make sure you stay tuned for the final look. So I'm officially done with this set. Just look at this gorgeous lash line. Stay tuned for the final look. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all in my next video.